哟哟，我儿子。Taylor, fuck your vlog. I was expecting that from Hunter, but I'll take it from Mads. Taylor, unless you put fucking alcohol down my throat, fuck your vlog. Honestly, she has a point. Are you drinking at the airport? Oh, I'm drinking everything. I don't care, Clorox, alcohol. Goodbye. I'll see you in America. Made it. They have a mask mandate here. Slay. European airports remind me of like a Coachella artist section where everyone's like fighting to get places. I ate a really good sandwich on my way to Barcelona. Definitely kissed my bag goodbye. This means I'm about to be drunk in the next clip. It's time to get drunk. Ready? <laughs> These are the cocktails on the way to Ibiza. Matt said no. You wanna try mine? <laughs> I'm wearing literally no clothes because it's a hundred degrees in a visa. I'm not kidding. And there's like no AC in this house. There's AC, but it's like, it doesn't work. But we got here earlier. I didn't really vlog today. I was literally sleeping on the airport floor. Super embarrassing. I was just so tired. We got here. We checked into the house. I tanned by the pool for a little. I got a little tan line though. Look, hey. Tell me why every time I have a zit now, I think it's monkeypox. Like I have this zit on my chest right now. And I've literally been Googling monkeypox all day. I said this on the podcast with Jeff, but like if anyone's gonna fucking get monkey pox it's me they gave me like the nicest room i have the biggest master in this house which is crazy because i'm not paying for this house at all and like they're just super generous with the people i'm with it's so interesting all the toilets in the rooms are like open like you just like pee facing your bed what's crazy about my room is that so beautiful here. They're straight up like in the jungle and there's like nothing around. Everyone's in Ibiza right now. Literally Bella Thorne is here. She just hit me up and I was like, oh shit. Everyone's here. <laughs> Everyone wants to go to the clubs. I'm just like rotting. Not really on the crazy club vibe, which I never thought I would say. Also, I need more Botox. I'm rationing my vapes because I'm about to run out. We're here for five days, which is a very crazy amount of time to be here. I think I would probably leave sooner if anyone I was with was leaving, but I'm just imagining myself in like Munich, Germany alone. But I'm just going to lay in my 90 degree room and die. Hello, my friends. I think this is just gonna turn into my minor inconveniences while traveling, which is awful because this is a beautiful house and a beautiful place. However, the lights in my room don't work. I'm doing my makeup in the dark. I was just locked in my room for 30 minutes while I'm simultaneously texting all my friends, hey, I'm locked in this room and they're just fucking with me. Like, just use the door. I almost literally broke this house down. Someone had to come break in and get me out of this room. It's about 105 degrees in here. Also a sleigh. I am now gonna go to a beach club, which is actually the last place I want to be, but there is no food in this house, so I have to go there to eat. <laughs> Is that a full-blown panic attack? I don't know. I think it just nothing's going right for me in this house right now. And that was like my final straw being locked in a room while everyone is useless and just like, open the door. Hey, I just got ready in the dark. This set is Tiger Mist. Bag is Bottega. Earrings are bought them when my shit was lost. Shoes are Zara. <laughs> Hey Slayers! This is probably the only time I will jump in during editing, but that is what you hear when you enter the gates of hell. I literally can't wear clothes in here, you guys. The AC just officially broke. Everyone's out at the club at Martin Garrix or Calvin Harris, I always confuse them. But it really just couldn't be me right now. I think I'm literally going to bed. Hunter and I got dinner at STK, as you just saw. Such a fire restaurant. Elevated everything for me. Drank a lot of champagne, which I needed because I was literally having the the worst panic attack to you guys. I just took a bunch of nudes all over this room because what else do you do when you're alone on board? I'm gonna try to go to bed right now because it's like midnight and I feel like the more sleep I can get while the sun is down and it's colder in here because I know the second this room is like baking, I'm gonna be up like <sighs> feral. I need him like water. My bed has no blankets. I'm literally just sleeping on like a, a mattress. I'll check back in with you. If I keep just laying here like baking, I might go insane, but stay hot and stay hot has a new meaning right now. The next day. <laughs> Bro, by the end of the trip, Mads is gonna see me set up my vlog and just death me in the face. <laughs> it's probably good that you're making a vlog because if you go missing, right. you have all the evidence of where we last went. on iCloud. Hey guys, happy Saturday. We're going daddy shopping today. We're going on a boat and we're gonna daddy shop. Catch us on the top of the boat. Maybe I'll go do some Shoot a slow-mo. 
She had his mic. <laughs> we look so wholesome in that clip. Little do they know. <laughs> On today's episode of Why Mads is my soulmate, this man sent her like a thousand dollars in flowers. And I just look at her and I go, yo, when we get back, I need to take a photo of the flowers so I can post it on my story and make my host jealous. Yo, I already took a photo without the card in it because I know you want to piss some people off. Ah! literally did it for me. I'm posting it right now. That's my soulmate Wait, right there. What with the card? With the <laughs> but if any of my hoes are watching this, it's completely from another man. Mads has blood all over the Uno cards, and for what reason? Like, why is your blood on the Uno cards? I just jumped in the ocean and there's jellyfish everywhere. If anyone's gonna get stung by a jellyfish, Lord knows it would be me. Hunter doesn't give a fuck, look at him. I'm super scared. They're all posing for a photo. Get it, you got that. Oh, Hi, Rob. Will you take a shot with me? Yeah. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> that was terrible. Two seconds later. The next day. Y'all know what time it is. Mads is naked. <laughs> I have this from her. Hey Jenna, did you tell your fans how you try to kick down a door when you are naked last night? <laughs> four in the fucking morning. I left that out. We are in the most beautiful house I've literally ever been in in Ibiza right now. Mads is going to puke. <laughs> Find a place to vomit. I am going to morally oh, support. Going to study. <gasps> Over here. Oh my god, we can read. We've been dying to study. Go for it, girl. But I won't flush. This oh course, it makes me look pregnant. Two hours later. Hello, my friends. As you just saw, we had a bunch of friends out here in Ibiza, so we went to that villa that I was just vlogging a little bit at, and it was so beautiful there. I've never seen a more beautiful property. I was just like so grateful to be there. Everyone I'm with is very crazy. Mads and Lucy, as you guys have seen, they are just, Lucy doesn't ever like take a day off. Like she's partying in a new city every day. That's like what she does. She's just, and then Mads is a DJ. So she is very used to just partying in new cities every night. She's the only person in the world who makes me feel like a nun. So everyone's just really on full send mode, which I love for them. So they're like getting up the fuck up at that villa all night and they're having like a party and that whole group that's there just got there tonight. So they're on like night one mode. But I, as you guys know, you've heard my fucking annoying ass complaints. I needed a little break. I want a break from the ads. So I had someone get me a hotel, as we do. We are city girls. And I'm staying at the W Ibiza and it's beautiful. And I'm just so excited to have just like Wi-Fi and air conditioning and a shower and a hair dryer. And, oh. The villa that we're staying at, beautiful. It's just giving jungle. I'm really excited. There's vibe out alone. You guys probably relate to social battery running out. Everyone's like, let's cuddle in one bed. I'm like, no, I need a moment. I'm just so happy right now to just get a little break. Slim thick as ever. Oh my God, wait, honest to God, I'm gonna take some content. <laughs> you walk in, there's a little bar. Might fuck that up alone. Little poofs, little letter there that is not to me. Thank you, daddy. This book I've seen like six times today. I think everyone in Ibiza has it. Um, Bedroom, TV, so excited to just watch some TV. And then you walk around to here and there is a white dark, wait, loving this as well. Bathroom. Very cute. I'm gonna fuck this shower up. I do shower, believe it or not. I just ordered a club sandwich. The AC's on full blast. I couldn't be happier right now, to be so honest with you. Life is worth living. <laughs> If you guys ever wonder what it's like to just live inside my little tiny fucking pea brain that rattles around in my stupid fucking head, I just spent 30 minutes trying to figure out this fucking bottle opener. Like I almost went live on Instagram to ask the people. I almost called my friends, but that's just so embarrassing. Just to open water. I cried. I don't know if you guys are like me, but it's like, bro, I could like break my leg. I could have the worst thing in the world happen to me and I'm not gonna cry. But minor inconveniences for some reason, like, like the other day in the house when I couldn't open that door, like right now, like when I couldn't. Maybe it's just that when I can't open things. Maybe that's my trigger. Okay, not to be graphic, but I just came everywhere. <laughs> this is the best thing to ever happen to me. Oh my God. Oh my God. The next day. <sighs> What a thrive. So much REM sleep. So beautiful. I could take on the world today. And that is what I will do. Two hours later. Watch. 
she go and she signed her wife? <laughs> to her wife? Yeah, she got one. Yo, fuck you guys. <laughs> I, this is not getting... Not getting Tana's busy. <laughs> Y'all, I'm not Dr. Phil, but if I could give you any advice, never fall in love. I'm literally sitting here editing this, like, smiling at the computer. Like, how cute are we? Like, why? we're so happy. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna call her. I I. <laughs> That's good. I was literally just about to do that. Later. Wait, no, no, no. Set it up right. <laughs> Give the people what they fucking want, Bella. <laughs> Cheers to love. Cheers to honor. Can't come in her. Come on her. This is Tana's brand. Oh yeah. <laughs> Say what you said before about the swipe the card. Oh well, if anyone wants to swipe their card for us, actually no, we're so rich, we're fine. <laughs> It's almost gone. Why is mine fully there? I thought you had a great laser place for me. Yeah. Fucking <laughs> bitch. <laughs> gave her my phone passcode so I'm literally I'm leaving Dick he just got my phone <laughs> no it's not even it thank god <laughs> changing it right now he's changing everyone's contact names <laughs> okay he just made us write our names on both sides of that card okay no hold it tighter like one no oh I like this one. Oh, this is cool yeah yeah Tana, turn it off. Okay. Put Tana, it on my tongue. Tana, Tana. <laughs> Tana. Good snack. Love that. <laughs> he goes through a lot of exercise. What? Okay. He's guessed my phone passcode. He's made us spiral. No, we don't know what's going on. Yeah, can you please guess Bella's phone passcode so I can at least have something? <laughs> she said I, I need some evidence. Sure. Oh, cool. she said I, I can't help it. Mm. <laughs> I'll eat it, Tana. We'll, we'll, we'll have Simi put some shit in my mouth, though. She wants you to spit it out, and then we'll go back to the Tana's having a porn star martini. Come on, Tana. Oh, no, it's not apple, though. Um... It's not great. Fucking hell, that, no one's that, that is ridiculous. Oh like, my god. Tana. I know. Tana, drink that porn star martini. You say you hate vlogging, but I think you're a vlogger at heart. Uh, yeah, it's my, it's my thoughts on it. Oh. Delicious. Can you just drink it like a dog? <laughs> Suddenly, I'm not drinking. This <laughs> is a bad idea. I mean, everything we do is a bad idea. <laughs> Very bad idea. Yeah. We're lost in the streets of Ibiza. Do you feel like we lost our parents at the grocery store? I got scared. Why? I thought I lost my parents at Disneyland. We're right here. We're trying to find you a seat. Tannin's chicken wings. What, like, what, what is this chicken wing? Why are they so small? Well, they're actually pretty big in the video, but they're actually pretty small. <gasps> this clip has copyrighted music, so I'm just gonna sing you the song. It's like, I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. You get it, you get it. Slay, boobs, slay. Then I met the Barbie girl who was performing on stage. Look at her go. She didn't talk. Kind of strange. Wonder if she was mute. Is that a bad joke? Slay, Barbie. I left the hotel. I am in the grocery store. Everything is so cheap here. Bottles of wine are like $2. Getting some tanning oil. Never looked better. Seriously, look amazing right now. Today's actually our last full day out here and then we go back home. Today on our last full day, we are going on a yacht and I'm very, very excited. And um, <laughs> I'm on a date right now in the grocery store, but I need to get a lot readier than this. So I will talk to you when I look a little better. Back. Hey, you guys, we are Oh, sorry. Okay, guys, we are on the water. <laughs> I followed. So funny, not being able to vlog certain people because of their high profile jobs. The waves are really choppy today, and they told us the water could be like super unsafe. So, uh, but I was dragged onto this yacht anyways. I guess life could be worse, right? Getting dragged onto a yacht is not the end of the world. But I'm slaying. 
I just had my first I just had my first glass of champagne and I'm in a great mood. It's my last day and as you guys can kind of see halfway through the trip, I just I got on my chill vacation vibes, things started to really look up. Yeah. I'm really just dying laughing at the fact that I was on this trip for 10 days and watching that clip back is one of maybe two times I was like actually happy. Like, I don't know if it was the Bella Thorne effect and the next day I just felt great. Like, why am I the happiest on day nine? Like, fuck. Really the way we are like bouncing on this boat right now. Like everyone's like, and Mads is just laying there as if the boat were still like- She's now soaking wet and miserable. <laughs> Robert, you guys know him. It's my good pal. There are some people on this trip that annoy us, so we're about to make a drinking game. <laughs> out of them, take a drink every single time we're annoyed. So if we're blacked out by the end of this vlog, just know someone was very awful. Cheers. <laughs> Did you just sign three days ago? My divorce papers. She's not kidding. Just checking. I'm fucking thriving. I'm drunk on a great yacht. Our other friends of this yacht is following our yacht. You can't even see it right now. Wait. They're trying to follow us. No. See, Maddie, think of my life like a group of yachts following each other. You're both gonna trap. Wow, I think I got tan, kind of a sleigh. I am finally leaving Ibiza. Ibiza, you are, you're incredible. This trip was insane. I don't even have words for what 10 days in Europe, just absolutely being a menace to myself and everyone around me. I don't even have any words for it. I really don't. I had so much fun and it was so beautiful. Definitely a bit of a roller coaster of a trip. I think I went into this trip thinking I would relax, but uh, it was a sleigh. It was the serve we deserved. I'll try to vlog today at the airport, but I don't really think I would be giving you my best self anyway. So this might be farewell. I hope you enjoyed coming to Italy and Ibiza with me and my friends. I can't wait to go home, drink a dizzy, and and knock the fuck out for like 36 hours. Goodbye vlog.